Welcome to the overview of MASS 500, a powerful yet easy to use business management system. The starting point of MASS 500 is the business desktop, which you see here. The business desktop provides access to those applications within your security profile, uh, but provides access to those applications in an easy to use and flexible way. First, the business desktop can be uh, docked at the top of the screen like this to minimize the real estate it's using. On, using. Uh, you can still access all of your tasks, of course, through these uh, menu drop-downs that you can see. I'm going to take this back to my expanded view. In addition, the My Tasks option allows you to quickly find the uh, tasks that you need on a daily basis. And, of course, it's customizable simply by dragging and dropping, as you'd expect. Uh, this powerful My Tasks functionality makes it easy for you to put the tasks that you need on a daily basis in an in a readily accessible place to streamline and uh, improve the efficiency of just your day-to-day -day activities. In addition, the Business Desktop provides the Information Support Center to put all in one place the online help as well as the user guides, making it easy to uh, look up information if you're not quite sure how the application works in a particular area. What I'm going to do is go back to a commonly used task in the system just to see how MASS 500 uh, applications look. Here we have the Maintain Customer screen, which reflects uh, uh, mo the way most of our screens are designed. First of all, I can step through customers one by one using these uh, navigator buttons at the bottom. Uh, you'll also see that the information for each customer is shown on screen, possibly with multiple tabs, to make it easy to access the specific information you need uh, while not cluttering up the screen with too much data at one time. Uh, a powerful feature you'll see throughout the system is the navigator. If I click on this, you'll see that I can use the navigator not just to list customers uh, that I can sele select from, but I can also do searches. For example, I can find all customers that contain the character string ALD. And uh, here's my customer, uh, Aldebaran. Uh, I will select that customer. Um, another powerful feature used throughout the system is the right click of the mouse button. The right click brings up what we call the drill around or drill down functionality that allows you to quickly get information about, in this case, customers. And as I mentioned, this is used throughout the system and is a very good way of quickly going from place to place to get the information you need on a daily basis. Uh, you'll see here we have a lot of information such as credit status, sales history, open orders, recent shipments, and so on. I'm going to uh, go to my sales history by way of an example. Here we'll see the sales history for each of these uh, total of five fiscal periods, um, including uh, the sales, returns, uh, and uh, various uh, uh, other profit type information. Um, options can be changed so that you can uh, uh, select the... Uh, sales history, not just for the uh, fiscal year 2001, but you could change it to give a different fiscal period or for a specific ship to, and so on. But it doesn't stop there. If I have a particular period I'm interested in, I can double click and that will bring up the invoices that uh, happened in that particular period. Double click again and it will take me down to the specifics of the invoice. Um, once I'm at the invoice level, I can again, uh, of course, uh, quickly review the information I need, or can right-click and uh, drill down into other related information. So using our drill down and the right-click on the mouse button, you can quickly go from place to place in the system to get all the information you need um, about uh, a customer, an invoice, or whatever the transaction is, and uh, quickly find the information and respond to the uh, question or to respond to the uh, uh, situation as you see fit. Of course, one commonly requested piece of uh, functionality, if I close some of these windows, is to take some information like this and just drop it into Excel. Luckily, we have this export function, which takes that data and drops it into Excel for you, making uh, it very simple to then do analysis on this data um, uh, using the standard Excel features that you're familiar with. Uh, again, any, almost any screen in the system where you have this uh, grid-like uh, display, you can right-click and do an export. Uh, the export template feature is, uh, is doubly powerful. It'll look for an existing Excel uh, template document and drop your data into that template to provide an even greater level of uh, 
data analysis that uh, you can perform on data uh, very easily. I'm going to shut down some of my windows here <coughs> and uh, go back to my uh, business desktop for a moment. I mentioned security earlier and I'll just show you uh, some of the uh, stuff we have uh, on the security side. Uh, if I go to maintain security groups, um, what this allows me to do is specify for any given security group the tasks that are permitted and not permitted. Here we have a security group AR clerk. Um, if I uh, go to a module, say, uh, purchase order, you'll see that the AR, AR clerk is not permitted to go to any of these purchase order function, functions. If I look at sales order, you'll see that they are uh, allowed to visit some of the tasks in sales order, but they're excluded from others. And then if I go to the accounts receivable module, you'll see that uh, I do indeed have permissions for most of the functions in AR, but again I'm excluded from others. Note that uh, these permissions can be changed by user, so of course this is customizable to exactly the uh, functionality that you need. And if I look at an accounts receivable manager, switching here to uh, accounts receivable, you'll see that the accounts receivable manager has supervisory permissions in the accounts receivable task, uh, accounts receivable module, as you'd expect. In addition, each of these security groups have uh, security events. These are things like, uh, uh, can this person change commissions, change credit information, kind of like field-level security. Uh, and that's a very powerful way of uh, making sure that your system is secure and uh, can be modified only by the people that uh, are allowed to modify each aspect of the system. Clearly, if you're using Mass 500 to run not only accounting, but your warehouse and the manufacturing shop floor, you're going to need to uh, spend some time in the security system to ensure that each of the different roles in your business have access to just those tasks that they need. Another area of the system that is, uh, of course, uh, uh, pervasive is uh, the uh, reporting functionality. Just to pick a report at uh, random, I'm going to try, say, the purchases clearing report. All of our reports, again, work in this basic way. Uh, each report, you have the ability to... Uh, pick one of the uh, reports and uh, one or more of the fields I should say, uh, specify a sort order on that field, subtotals and page breaks, and also select according to uh, uh, the data in the field so that you can restrict the report to uh, just a specific um, uh, subset of the data that would otherwise be on the report. Um, many of the reports also have options uh, that allow you to specify whether you want a summary or a detail report and so on. Finally, if you have a particular configuration on the sort, select, and the options, you can use, you can use this uh, save button to save that setting, uh, and you can pick it quickly from this drop-down. For now, I'll just re run the uh, report in a, uh, uh, a standard configuration. Uh, we, as you can see here, we use Crystal to uh, create our reports, and uh, the, uh, the uh, um, report is uh, laid out uh, in an easy-to-read way and contains all the information you need uh, to, uh, to run your business. In this case, this is the uh, Purchases Clearing Report and provides the, the information your purchasing people need to uh, track the uh, business operations. And in this particular report, uh, we can uh, zoom from receiver to receiver uh, for quick access on screen. Um, so uh, a powerful reporting environment, and what's particularly useful is that these reports are not just uh, uh, accessible via the application, they're also available through our web reports module that allows people off-site to come in through a browser and see these same reports, exactly the same report, on a, on a browser through the internet instead of having to be in the office and running in the application. Finally, to uh, finish up this uh, quick overview, I wanted to show you a couple of our uh, most popular applications, um, which uh, are used by many of our customers to help track their business. First is alerts. <coughs> the alerts module is a powerful tool for uh, tracking your business in a proactive way. Uh, wrong. Uh, let me just create a new alert. And uh, I can search uh, my list of alert types here. <coughs> um, Basic, in the system, by as a standard uh, option, we have a wide variety of reports for a wide variety of modules, sorry, a wide variety of alerts for a wide variety of modules um, that allow me to specify a particular scenario. For example, a sales order was placed for a certain amount or more. 
Uh, what this is going to do is, as I change this value, <coughs> it will send me an email if a sales order goes into the system for more than ten thousand dollars. A very useful piece of function, a very useful email to get if you're the VP of sales and you're trying to make your numbers at the end of a quarter. I can specify uh, email addresses here, uh, or I can use this role recipient feature to say uh, send this email uh, to um, the uh, the salespeople where that sales order was related to. So um, a very powerful feature for uh, gearing email to the specific people who need to get that information. Finally, I can specify a schedule, and what this will do, uh, I can specify to search on a daily or a weekly or a monthly basis, and then the email will contain all the sales orders over 10,000 uh, for that configuration. I would probably choose to leave this as daily, so every morning when I come into the office, I'll get an email uh, telling me about any orders the day before, that were placed over $10,000. Once I've set this up, I can save it in the system and uh, obviously then change it or delete it down the road as I need to. Very powerful way of proactively managing your company um, so that you can tackle issues as they arise and not find out about it a month or two later when it's too late to make a difference. A uh, good way of putting out fires uh, uh, as they've started and not when they've become uh, difficult to extinguish.